It was about four o'clock in the morning. I knew it was a bad call simply because of the time. I had to work that day. I worked the overnight shift at the time. And I was sitting in my bed watching TV. And I told Gerard, stay in the house. And he was like, oh, Uncle Julian, I'll be right back. And that never happened. I was scared. I was scared to death. I have some bad news, and it doesn't look good. By the time I was running out the house, I see my cousin, Tierra. She was at the corner, and she was like hysterical. I prayed that he was just hurt. And so you get down there, and what happens? <sighs> well, I arrived on 67th Street. No police officers there would answer my questions. Then the police came and they roped off the area. They're like, can I help you, ma'am? I said, wait a minute, I'm his mom. Let him hear my voice. So by the time I got to the corner, that's when I saw him. He was under a sheet. I was just empty. How he gone and I'm still here. That's not right. And I used to hear that childbirth was the worst, but no, it's the ultimate anguish that you can feel. When I was trying to suppress the screams, I couldn't stop myself from screaming. What became clear to me, even though you get a lot of different outcomes when someone is exposed to trauma, is that it can really be very harmful to you psychologically. And so after that, I, I just felt like I didn't want to live. Because my thing was the world's supposed to stop when my son got killed. See, I was confused. I thought the world was supposed to stop. And what's your son's name? Damien. My son's name is Thomas Lee. My son's name is Corey Parker. My son's name is Raymond W. Pryor IV. My son's name is Kenneth Anthony. I'm the mother of Gerard Benton. My son is Ashton Simpson, and he was murdered September 13, 2015.